Hello to another video in our uh, Blueprint Multiplayer course. Uh, let's start with uh, making a new project. I will use 5. Unreal Engine 5.4. So let's make a new project and wait for it to load. In this video, I will prepare the project. We will add the important assets that we want. Here, let's make it a vehicle. We do not. Uh, we need the starter content. Sometimes we need some particle effects. Let's call it uh, <coughs> multiplayer tank game. Create. Wait for it to finish. After it is loaded, let's drag this content drawer here to the lower side. Adjust its size. <clears throat> now, let's make our first blueprint. First, let's make uh, a new folder. Call it Tank Game. Open this and make new folder for blueprints. Here, let's make our first blueprint. Uh, first, we need the vehicle blueprint. Vehicle, where is it? Wheel. Vehicle for let's change its name to BP score tank. This will be the base tank, and we will also uh, we will make child blueprints from it to make multiple tanks. Now let's open it. Now you see it is empty. Uh, first, we need a spring arm spring arm for the camera and a camera attached to the spring arm let's import a vehicle mesh I use the vigilante assets which are uh, free available on the uh, Epic Marketplace I'll use the T72 first let me to exit the project because it will not complete if it is open let's look for our project multiplayer tank game change the version to 4.27 and add to project let's go back to our project and open it again Yeah, let's look for the T72. Let's go to the right side and drag it up and increase its length maybe 1000 and give it an offset. One fifty, and let's decrease its length to eight hundred. I'll make this one one twenty. Now let's try it. 
here in the world map let's clear this and drag our tank here and go to the details and look for auto process layer zero this is only for testing now we are it is spawning now let's complete first let's add some uh, input functionality for the uh, um, spring arm let's look for the input uh, here. Here, uh, and uh, epic already put some basic input I will use them so we need the uh, look around or I will not use them and let me teach you how to make a basic input here I'll make a new folder called input open it and go to the input and we need an uh, input mapping context it's called inc underscore tank Also here we need input action it's called IA um, look look up we are open it we need it to be a one axis axis one D float and duplicate it we need a uh, look around which is for the right and left mouse and we need a uh, throttle let's open it and change it back to bool digital bool also uh, throttle and Uh, turn sorry throttle should be uh, leave it axis we need it to be axis 1d not uh, bool also the turn make sure you make it axis 1d we need another uh, one for the braking for the hand brake and shooting this will be uh, bool and the brake make sure it is bold okay close it and duplicate it or well, shoot or fire to very well now let's open the tank inc and first mapping let's choose the I will take them one by one first let me delete the other input because I do not want them to uh, let me split this I do not want them to be confused with our inputs go here to the vehicle I will delete this uh, these two folders the vehicles and the vehicle template before you delete them make sure you make new folder call it map and where is the map here move these maps to the to your folder Click OK. And uh, make sure they are here. And don't forget to fix up redirections. 
redirected directories because sometimes you won't be able to delete the, the previous things the other folders because it thinks that an important uh, file is present in there now delete them I think they are deleted now no they are still delete force delete <coughs> Again, except for the directories. Now these are empty. Sometimes they do not uh, get deleted uh, unless you are delete them from uh, the Explorer. I will leave them. They are empty now. Uh, they won't uh, confuse us. So uh, for, uh, also here, let's set a color to our folder to make it stand out. I will make it red. So here in the input, let's open the INC. First input is the handle break. Make it space bar. Uh, I will add some triggers to it. Pressed and released. Second input will be look around. This one will be the mouse. So mouse X is the for the horizontal and for the up and down uh, look up mouse Y. For the mouse Y, uh, there is modifier uh, negate because we need to reverse them because uh, with the input because it will uh, you want to uh, you know that uh, in tank games when you get the mouse down it will go up the uh, you'll see it I don't know how to explain it. But you will see it. Uh, also, we need the shooting. Uh, left mouse button. Also, need triggers. We want it to be pressed. Only pressed. I, we do not need it to trigger anything when it is released. Uh, also for the handbrake. Sorry, not handbrake. The throttle. The throttle will be. We'll have two buttons here. One W for the forward. This one and the S for the backward. For the S, we need to add the modifier the negate to make it give us a negative uh, value. Also, for the turning here after the throttle, the turn. Also, we have two inputs here or two buttons. Turn right, uh, we put the D and turn left is the A. Also, the A because it is left should be negative, so we uh, give it the negate modifier. Now the controls are ready. Now we should go to our blueprints and here on begin to play, get their controller. Let's check if it is valid. A 
if it is not valid make a delay and retry this won't happen sometimes uh, well it is sometimes it happens because sometimes they spawn together or sometimes the pawn spawns before the player controller and the player controller is not ready and you will get an error so to avoid that we use this node we need uh, the enhanced input local subsystem and we need a mapping context assign mapping add mapping context and let's choose our mapping context the tank now we are ready first we need to implement the uh, function like the spring arm and the uh, let's returning looking up looking turning uh, around looking around this one first go to the spring arm and we need use spawn control rotation activate this and here add control rotation so this is look around control rotation you we need and connect the action value for the look up and put action look up add controller rotation pitch this one now let's check now we look around when I talked about the negate uh, on the look up I meant about this when you get it uh, when you drag the mouse down it looks down now it looks up because the control rotation uh, if you give it a positive uh, value it will look like this not like this I think you understand me now let's uh, before we uh, add movement logic I think the video is becoming long so I will stop now and continue on the next video we will complete the uh, setup of our uh, tank